G'day guys, what's going on? Ange here again. So as you can see, I've got out my nice little trusty Maverick Atom. We're gonna do a couple of uh, electronic upgrades on this today. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change over our uh, two-in-one combo ESC right there. We're gonna have to cut and shut some of the wires for the brush for the brush motor and cut and shut the wires for the, uh, the three-wire servo. I'm gonna get rid of all the lighting because uh, I don't know who drives cars at night time, but uh, I certainly don't. So we're just gonna get rid of these. I can probably maybe do a little separate battery or something for these lights. Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, we'll get this running on a 2S and 3S system. So what I'm gonna be using, I've just got a spare FTX 60 amp uh, 2 to 3S ESC right there. So we're gonna get that hooked up. Same sort of thickness, nice and slim line, so it's still gonna fit on top there as well. Um, and because we are obviously changing out the twin one servo, which also has the receiver in it for the remote, uh, gonna have to put on a uh, Dumbo RC receiver or transmitter, whatever you wanna call them. So this is the X6FG. Um, this is the one that comes with the gyro built in. Um, I will put a link in the description below where you can get these from. Um, so that's going to have to sort of uh, make a nice fit on there too. So then um, we can make this uh, 2S and the 3S system. So we won't have to run on 2S all the time and get rid of this uh, ugly life battery or nickel metal hydro, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a fan of them because they're just too slow for me. And then also we'll try and modify this bracket. Um, and make something else because I am going to be running a taller battery. So I'm going to be running my 3S 1500 milliamp in there, uh, which sits a little bit more prouder on top. So obviously the battery holder um, will not be able to do that. So what I've done in the meantime is it did have a pin through there. Um, but what I did do, I drilled it out and tapped it, put a little screw in there. So if I do ever want to run it back on 2S, I can just re-screw the uh, battery plate back on there. Um, if I do want to run it on 3S, then I will unscrew that and just I'll have to make like a strap or something over there uh, to hold down the 3S battery because it is much taller. So uh, enough talking there, um, let's go. So that's the way the uh, ESC is going to look there on top there, just as a demonstration. And with the Dumbo RC, either excuse me, either at the front there, get my hands out of the way, something like that, or at the back, uh, preferably at the back where I can still get to the uh, the switch if I do want to turn off the gyro or if I need to change some settings on that uh, on that Dumbo RC there. So uh, yeah, that'll sit something like that. A little bit of double side sticky tape on that one there and yeah, good to go. Let's take this up. Well, first we'll get rid of the lighting. I'm supposed to have another one in there too for the lights that sit uh, up here, but uh, yeah, not a fan of lights on cars at the moment. These can be a bit of a struggle. Don't want to start pulling wires out and breaking wires, especially uh, servo wires. That one come out pretty good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is unscrew the two-in-one servo. Two little screws out, oh, that's Robbie, take Motor cables out, they're out, they're pretty straightforward. And pretty much that is it. So that's the two-in-one servo. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'll probably put that aside. I could probably use it for something else in another smaller car if I do something custom made, but uh, yeah, that one's just gonna go in storage for the moment. Here we go, there's your warranty, gone. All right, so it always pays to have a box of electrical wires. And I do have plenty of them. So I found my wires that are gonna be soldered straight off onto my motor. And the right colors too. 
which obviously that will go straight into the uh, bullet connectors on the ESC right there. And also found the same color three wire servo uh, connector, which is gonna go, sorry, not on that one. It's gonna go on this one. So look at that. How good is that? Get that in shot there. So I've got the same colors there. So I'm just gonna cut off this uh, terminal right there and just re-solder these on here. Don't have to go super long, but uh, that's gonna be fabulous right there. So if you ever do mods, it's always good to have a nice variety of heat shrink. Just make sure your soldering iron is nice and hot. Put some solder on your soldering tip. Let it warm up a bit. Get those doctor's hands in. And that's it. That's all you need. Let it dry, clean the tip, put that away, and that one is good to go. Some nice quick on the uh, heat shrink, and that's it. That's all you need. Two seconds worth, because it's very, very thin. All right, so as you can see, I've put all the heat shrink uh, over those three wires there for the steering servo. And what I like to do as well is, at this one just hiding down there, just have one overall just covering up all three there. So get that nice and steady and we'll melt that one straight over. Just to give it just a little bit more um, protection there. All right guys, so as you can see, here is the finished product. Tried to wrap up that wiring as best as I could. So uh, I've got it all zip tied down there. Got the Dumbo RC uh, X6 FG uh, receiver on there. And I've mounted the uh, the two to three S uh, speed controller there, the brushed one. So that is all ready to go. I have checked it with the body and it all sits uh, nice and neat underneath the, the body there. So the only other issue is normally you would push the power button from there, that little hole there, which is under there. But this time, going to have to, you know, just switch it here as normal, just on the side there, which isn't going to be a big issue. So I'll get this plugged up and give you a little bit of a demo of the uh, 2S and 3S difference. So we'll turn this on. Dumbo RC, right there. Got steering as well, so that's all working nicely. Uh, just get my little converter at the moment. I will probably change this to a um, to an XT60. So I've just got my little converter there at the moment. Plug that in. Don't like these Dean's plugs. It's a bit messy with the cabling there, but. Just for example, you can see, all right, but steering again, and 3S. One thing I did forget is, where am I gonna mount the antenna? So, might just have to be temporarily zip tied through the wiring at the moment. Something like that. All right, guys, so that's it for today. As you can see, what I've done, I've changed out the ESC and I've put in a um, Dumbo RC receiver. So obviously this was the original one. This was the two-in-one combo. Um, obviously I've cut the plugs uh, to suit. So you saw before how I've cut them and put all the soldering on them. And that was just a conversion plug there for the XT60 bigger battery for the 3S. But yeah, just use a, if I can get that in focus there. Try and get in focus for you. Just, where are we? There we go. It's a FTX 60 amp ESC 2 to 3S uh, LiPo, blah, blah, blah. So that one's all done, guys. Like I said, we'll take this for a test run on another day. Um, it's getting pretty dark out where I am at the moment. So yeah, any questions, uh, just leave a comment. Don't forget to hit that like and 
hit that subscribe button most of all. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.